Hi guys, in today's video, we will be checking out this. Unbox muna natin siya. Yan siya. And since na buksan ko na yung gilid niya, I'll unbox this na. Oh, so if you're wondering kung ano to, ito na siya. Actually, hindi natin mababasa kasi naka Chinese character. So, wala siyang anything um, sa likod din. So, ayan siya. Ito yung likod niya. Um, ayan. May method of use and then Instructions. Yeah. So, ito yung main product. This is a glass pen. So, kung hindi nyo siya alam, um, pang sulat siya, pero hindi siya nilalagyan ng ink dun sa parang ink cartridge, sinasaw-saw siya sa ink. Ayan, so, ayan siya, katawan niya, and it's really glass. 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 Ano siyang parang um, bubbles texture sa loob. And then this spiral design para siguro sa grip. Sa grip pagka nagsusulat. Um, balik muna natin siya. Tapos check natin yung ibang laman ng box. Um, so ito, inks sila. I think you should ano, shake it first. So, looks purple, and then this one looks orange. This one, you know, my color naman yung mga horse. Unicorn pala, hindi pala to horse. And, ayan, um, ito, this one looks pink. And then, a darker purple with the Pegasus. Pegasus, um, silhouette. Oh, Pegasus. Ito din, unicorn. This looks like uh, teal. Um, this looks like another purple. This one looks green. It's a green unicorn. This one is the yellow unicorn. Okay. Um, this is um, parang murky green, army green, uh, moss green, kulay lumot. And this looks like, what is this? So, yung color niya sa labas looks like black, pero parang gold yung bottle. So, magalaman natin later. Tinay na natin yung inks niya. And then, this looks like fuchsia pink. And then, lastly, uh, now this one looks green. The brighter green. Lighter green? Something like that. Ayan. So, wala pala dito yung ano. May two types kasi type parang Meron na 5 or 6 na inks yun. And then, meron siya nung parang lagayan nung, nung, nung pen. Parang ganito itura niya. Glass din siya. Tapos pwede mong ilagay yung pen like that. So, this is my needed eraser. Anyway. Divide ko lang to into 6 cents.
Pet muna tayo with blue. Okay, so ito yung mukhang purple yung picture. Yung color sa labas ng buot eh. But it's just blue. Medyo nag-play na ako with the colors kaya messy na yung fingers ko. But here we go. This is blue. Yun. Medyo matapang yung colors nyo. Yung ink. Medyo matapang yung ink. Nagbe-bleed na agad dun sa nagfe-feather sya. Nagfe-feather sya. Yung papunzin nyo yung parang mga lampas-lampas. Feathering yung tawag dun. Ibig sabihin, hindi kayang ma-handle nung paper yung ink. Blue. So, ayan sya. Ganyan yun. So, paano siya mag-feel ng solid? Ayan, madali siya gamitin kasi nga, ano yung ink niya eh, parang masyadong diluted. Okay. So, ayan siya, tapos ganito siya for Scribbling. It's really good. Ang outline. Ba. Tapos, ganito lang siya luminsan. So, kung siya, medyo may color na yung water natin. Pero, this is how you... Ooh! Beautiful! Tonight! So, okay na siya. Orange! Pinaisin natin ulit yung glass pen. Ala, hindi na siya masyadong kita. Red. This looks purple, this looks purple, this looks violet. Right? So, dito naman tayo sa siguro ano to? Teal. Not sure, pero let's see. Let's go. Teal. Oh, so beautiful. Violet. Yes, this is violet. I love 
guys. Violet. Um, so, paano ko nalaman na ito yung violet and not purple? Purple and violet are two different colors. So, magkahawig sila, pero may difference pa din. Violet is a little bit lighter. Habang yung purple naman, mas dark. So, yes, dito parang mukha siyang parehas dark. Pero kasi tinan niya dito, mas kita yung pagka-vibrant ng color. As for this one, sobrang dark siya. Right? Or baka nga hindi to purple, eh. mukha nga siyang burgundy, honestly. Pero kasi dito sa uh, bottle niya, violet. So, ayun. This is dark green. So, judging on the color sa bata, it should be yellow. You should be. So, light. Ooh. I like this. Dahil dun sa sparkle niya, gumukha siyang gold sa ibang angle. This is olive green. Wow. Okay. Olive. Next, we have, I hope this one is the pink one. What is this color? Red din? No, why? Not walang pink. This also looks red. Oh. Parang bright, bright, lighter red lang siya. Hala, walang pink. Sad naman. May teal, tsaka violet, walang pink. Why? Sad. There you go. Another red. It's disappointing, walang pink. Okay. Verde. Verde. Nagawa mo. Lime green. So, in sha, yan yung colors. And, yan yan sha sa box. Now, since, um, ito na rin naman tayo, let's try some, some other medium. So, kunwari ito. This is a metallic watercolor that I have, and we will try kung pwede din tong gamitin dito sa glass pen. Regular brush, since di natin siya madidip, i-apply natin yung watercolor using the brush. So, dapat medyo diluted yung watercolor. It's working so far. It's working. Vine. Yan, tinan natin yung color niya. Oh, it is working. Ay, so happy. Yep. Um, 
Okay, so pagka medyo medyo nadadalay na yung waterfall, i-dip nyo lang siya sa tubig ng konti para mabuhay ulit yung watercolor. Excited ako. Excited ako. I have this um, Vega Punks. So this is white. White ink siya, tapos water-based. Well, this is the gold one. Water-based. Then, according dun sa paper. So, tignan natin. Oh. Ganda siya gamitin. With the glass pens. Shake, shake, shake. Okay. So, this is Vegapunk. Oh, no. Oh no. Yep, I, I think we should apply this with some brush. Some shadow. Thick. No consistency, no ink. Vega Pank. Ui. Start. Oops. Oh no. Why? What's that? Why? So before natin go meeting yung white, gawin muna natin dark ito. Dip it. This should work properly. I hope so. Sheesh. Let's go. One, two, three. Ooh, it's working on the white one. Vega Punk. White. Ooh, this. This is an acrylic leather paint. Okay. This is definitely not a water-based paint, pero let's still try. And with the acrylic leather paint, hindi talaga siya gumana. Kaya ginamitan ko siya no thinner. And fortunately, the thinner made it work. Kailangan lang ma-reach yung right consistency para mag-flow yung paint dun sa bruise ng pen. You can see me here uh, writing the word acrylic leather paint and it's working like a charm. Pero hindi na dapat sobrang loose yung consistency ng paint kasi kapag natouch na nung tip ng glass pen yung paper, ilalaglag niya lang lahat yung paint na na dun sa grooves niya or the ink holder. Ayun. Ayan na po siya. So, I think etong inks na to, pwede lang siya sa dip ends. And fountain, kaya lang kasi kung gagamitin siya sa fountain, meron siya parang, ay, may, parang may mga glitter siya, so baka mag-clog yung fountain pen. And that is our unboxing, swatching, and trying out of other mediums na pwedeng gumana using this glass pen. If you have questions and suggestions, you may say so on the comment section down below. And kung meron pa kayong ibang medium na naiisip na pwede natin gamitin using this glass pen, you may also comment that down below. And that's it for our video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Ooh. Ooh, big glass pen. Ooh. Bye!